hoping that this cushion is much better than the first Moonshot cushion that I used. Um, the I reviewed it a long ass time ago. It was the GD cushion. It's just a Moonshot cushion, but GD was like the model for the photo, so we all refer to it as the GD cushion. But it was very for Moonshot being a YG brand and the products being more on like the mid to high range price points. Uh. I was very surprised to see that for my skin, it didn't really do much and it really felt like a really cheap cushion. So hopefully this uh, fares much better. This is the Moonshot Face Perfection Bomb Cushion, SPF 50, PA triple plus. And how much did I pay for this? I think I paid, oh, it was only $23. It was only $23. Well, well, only $23 is still quite a lot of money, but uh, it does come with a refill. But anyway, it claims that it's a high moisture melting balm foundation, meets the mesh create, creating soft, fine texture, providing flawless cover, glowing skin. Hashtag glow and bomb cushion. Okay, all right. So I'm guessing that it's supposed to give you good coverage and like a glow. Which is not new to this channel. Not at all. I got mine in shade 301 and I believe there's three shades. It says that it's supposed to melt into the skin, resulting in flawless coverage, and it consists of nutrition and moisture. Why do you, there's like not one person that can like check the grammar on this item. And it's supposed to prevent flaking skin and provide healthy glowing skin finish. One thing I noticed about Moonshot, I haven't tried a lot, but what I, from the products I have tried, what I've noticed is that Moonshot is good at making uh, makeup that would look great on like a photo shoot, where you're only gonna have it on for a, a few hours. I've noticed that, like, in terms of like long, I've noticed that there's a lot, a lot of the products that I've tried from Moonshot suffer in like long wearability. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna go in. Hope I'm gonna, I'm hope I'm gonna go into this hoping that this shit works even a little bit. So it's very similar to the GD cushion and the Dara cushion, um, but this one is just in beige. I mean, the packaging really, there's nothing that exciting about it. You got your regular Moonshot um, puff in here, and. Uh, see. Oh, bit. You know on those cooking shows, or just cooking in general, when they're like straining things, but not like with a mesh, like, mesh thing, but like a muslin cloth? That is what this looks like. This... What the fuck? Did you see that? It's just like oil and like a little bit of pigment there. What the You know what this is reminding me of? This is reminding me a lot of the Etude House. Um, any cushion, the the new mesh, the new, the mesh cushion. So I'm assuming it's gonna be, it's supposed to be like in that line of like types of cushions where it's like a mesh cushion. Ah, so on the little description thing, it says that the mesh is also supposed to help it apply evenly to the, the sponge. Because a lot of cushions, like regular cushions, you'll only get like right at the point where your fingers uh, dip into the cushion. You'll only get like at the very top. But apparently, with the with this mesh, it's supposed to help it like apply evenly. But even then, I feel like like does that really really matter? Oh, she's a uh, looking. Real shiny, but the color's really good for me. Oh wow, that's actually really nice, and it looks super natural. Holy shit! Ooh, okay. I like. Oh yes. I like that this strap right here is really thick, so it makes. It makes it feel really secure in the hands. I usually put three fingers because I feel like other puffs can be really flimsy or whatever. But uh, with this, I don't mind using just two fingers. But I feel like I didn't put that much product to begin with on the actual puff before I applied. But I still was able to cover pretty much this half of my face. But y'all, there's like, you can see the oil pooling in the cushion. Like it, the very edges right here. So if you have oily skin, girl, you might want to stay, steer clear of this or just powder it. So this is the side without makeup. And here it is with. Oh my bitch, yes. 
Let me see if I can, I'm gonna try to cover my dark circles, cause that's what I need to cover. And although it's looking nice now, I'm, it's still giving me like Etude House, that any cushion vibes where it looks cute for now, but it's, it's gonna crease, it's gonna break up throughout the day, and um, hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully. Oh, shit. And it might have something to do with the fact that it's such a good color match that I'm seeing all my little blemishes and like things going away and disappearing. But it's really like on my skin tone right now and how it's looking so far, it looks really invisible. I can make this a new daily foundation. Okay, so there it is all over my face and I'm Oh, girl, she, I'm loving it. I am loving this. Usually in these foundation reviews, because I do one side first, um, after I work on the second side, the, the first side I did, get, you know, I've given it time to set and I, it gives me a good idea of like um, the creasage issue um, around my eyes because um, foundations that don't work really well tend to crease like quite quickly on my very expressive lines. But right now I am living for what I'm seeing. Because it looks just like skin to me. It doesn't look like makeup sitting on top of the skin. This would be perfect in the winter though because this is so moisturizing and so uh, glowy. So on the side it also recommends that it's good for normal to dry skin. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to also give you medium full coverage while the, the other cushion is supposed to give you sheer to medium. Ah, okay, so there's a makeup artist tip here. Apparently according to them, if you use the cushion puff that comes with it, you get more of a glow I believe. And if you use a sort of foundation brush or like a stippling brush, something you can use to buff in the foundation, um, you get more of like a pore coverage sort of dealio. But for me, I feel like my pores are already pretty much concealed. All right, now that I've had it sitting on my skin for a minute or two or three or four or five, um, it's starting to turn like in my to my in my eyes, it's starting to cross already over into that like greasy territory already. Now I'm gonna do what I usually do and not powder it, but if I were to use this normally, I might set this, uh, but it looks like a good foundation to have under um, a powder. So I'm just gonna put on some eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I added a little bit more makeup and I like it so far. Surprisingly, still no creasing under my eyes which is something that will happen with dewy foundations within the first few minutes even. And even better, it hasn't settled in my forehead lines yet. I can feel like it's gonna get there, but, but if it's at this point, it still hasn't creased on that part of my face yet, then for me, that's like a good sign. So um, I'm gonna test this throughout the day. It is 1.46 in the afternoon right now, and I will check in throughout the day with you, for you. Uh, I forgot to bring my camera out with me and I fell asleep as soon as I go back up. It's been so exhausted, but I remember how it looked throughout the day, so I know how I feel about this. But y'all, just like the name suggests, this cushion is quite perfecting on the skin. Earlier, after I filmed my that last um, update clip, uh, I went out to Olympic uh, Park and uh, one thing that I was looking out for was how it looks under the sun, like direct sunlight. And a lot of foundation, uh, like, will look like makeup, um, sitting on top of the skin, like under direct sunlight. But I noticed that in, even in direct sunlight, my skin looked like there was no makeup on it, but it was still like perfected. So uh, that was, I was really shocked by that. Luckily, despite it being such a dewy foundation, um, I feel like my, after it like set, my skin kind of absorbs some of that excess moisture so that I'm left with a more natural dew rather than that really like greasy looking dew that I was uh, afraid of when I first applied it in the morning. Now it is 7.35 in the evening so on this side of my face you can, get a good rep uh, you can see how my oil is definitely starting to push through so it's um, maybe at that point where I would want to like blot with an oil uh, blotting sheet. But even then, I'm still fine with this because um, none of the foundation like broke down. But remember I said I fell asleep. I was sleeping on this side of my face, so 
um, some of that grease kind of like blotted off of my pillow, which sounds disgusting, but that's why maybe you can see a little bit of my redness peeking through here. But um, yeah, this is what it will look like if you're not sleeping on your pillow. So what do I think of the foundation so far? Love it, very good. Um, I'm quite excited about it actually, because I was really afraid that this wasn't gonna work that well, especially compared to their other cushion, which I've now, now that I looked at that website, it's comparing the two. It said that the other cushion, the GD cushion, is supposed to be light to sheer coverage, which I'm not a big fan of. But I'm just liking how it really feels like really lightweight on the skin and it doesn't really feel like anything. And um, it's such a relief to have a foundation that it's in that line of like mesh cushions, like the bomb mesh cushions, like the Etude House uh, filter, screen filter cushion or whatever it's called. It's a relief that there's one that actually like I'm 100% happy with or mostly happy with. Hopefully it will, it won't do anything crazy as I'm testing it. So, so far first impressions on the first day, thumbs up. So I'm probably gonna update you guys uh, much later after I've worn it more often and I have more feel of how the foundation really is. Hello, hi. So it's been several weeks. I would come to you barefaced. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, so I've been wearing the uh, foundation for several weeks now, and I mean I already talked about it in my favorite in my April hits video, so you guys pretty much know how I feel about it, and I had the same feelings as I do like in the clips that you just saw. So I this A plus cushion. I've been like really gravitating towards it. Uh, recently and I can't get enough of it to be honest. Um, I love the finish. I love how it really plumps out the skin and makes my skin look um, more voluminous in a way simply because of um, not just because of the glow it gives but the way it just smooths out the pores, the fine lines and it uh, as the name just perfects the skin and even though I do have foundations that you know they'll give me full coverage, they'll um, conceal my pores, uh, cover my fine lines they don't necessarily give me that plump look to the skin, and they'll still have dewy finishes. So I don't know what to, I don't know what's in this uh, bomb cushion, but um, it's been girl, it's been pulling me back in every day. Now it didn't break me out, but as you can see, I do have a spot here and here. But these are um, not from the cushion. It's been from uh, getting back into eating milk products like dairy. Uh, so that has to do with the, the the cushion itself hasn't broken me out, but that's not to say it might not break you out if you tried. So, for me, it hasn't broken me out. And what else? Um, I've used I've been using it for a few weeks, but I still think I still have quite a bit of product in there. Don't need that much, which is another good thing. Um, sometimes at first you don't need to use that much of the cushion when it's brand new. A lot of the product will be sitting at the very top of the cushion where you touch it. So you only use only need to use it a little bit, but then later on you'll notice that you're really like trying to dig into the cushion for product. But for this one, it's I still have quite a bit of product in there. Um, and what I actually like to do is I will um, you know, do all of my face, like a light layer, and that's pretty much medium to full coverage already. And if for my dark circles, what I do is I'll just dip my finger into the actual um, cushion just a little bit, um, and then I'll kind of pat it under my eyes. I will let the first layer set a little bit, that way um, it layers better, but I'll just take my finger and almost use it as like a spot concealer, and it actually layers really well. So um, in that way, you can use it both as both foundation and concealer. So overall, this is probably my top five favorite cushions. So I really, really recommend it. But yeah, if you're interested in it, it'll be a link down below in the info box. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.